Dealerships nationwide charge auto consumers excessive undisclosed buyout fees at the time of payoff. The Consumer Leasing Act requires disclosure of any fees during a lease agreement. If there are any undisclosed in the lease, you cannot charge them, Darren Newhart, Pike and Lusting, Florida attorney said. George Curro leased a minivan from Priority Nissan in Chantilly, Virginia. Curro entered a loan with regular monthly payments using a financial department that works alongside his trusted car dealership. He was mortified when he saw his dealer's processing fees. My statement said one amount, and when I went to pay it off, they assumed I had 4000 extra dollars to spend on nonsense charges. It wasn't fair, Curro said. Curro became a victim of a nationwide practice of adding undisclosed fees to a payoff statement. When an auto consumer can pay off their car lease, they receive a letter from an auto manufacturer like Nissan, Ford, or Buick's financial department. The letter reads something like, We received your request for information about your payoff amount on your lease, according to a Nissan Infinity financial statement. A dollar amount will follow, indicating the total amount a consumer needs to pay off their debt and own the vehicle outright. On paper, a client receives a fixed rate, like in Kuro's case of $19,838.13. Consumers can pay the auto manufacturer directly or with assistance from their preferred dealership. Kuro's dealership, Priority Nissan, charged taxable fees of about $2,495. They also charged processing fees of about $899 a tax and non-tax fee amounting to $3,695 over Nissan's official payoff statement. I'm sure it's a nationwide issue. Anywhere there is money to be made, it's not going to be isolated, Newhart said. One dealership in New Jersey hit me with a certification fee of $3,895 alone. Without the sales tax, Reddit user Forever Pondering co commented, one dealership in New Jersey hit me with a certification fee of $3,895 alone, without the sales tax, Reddit user Forever Pondering commented. Local News 10 in Florida found Midway Ford charged consumer Joel Mesa over $2,200 in fees to buy out the lease on his 2018 Mustang, a $1,731 pre-delivery service charge, and a $495 electronic registration filing fee neither of which were in his original lease. Kim Hodson told WCVB Boston she wasn't exactly sure what she paid for when she left Kelly Nissan. Another Kelly Nissan customer, Tom Weisnor, said he was charged $2,398 for a state inspection and a Nissan certification. He refused to continue the auto lease buyout process and left the dealership. If I subtract the $1,100 from the dealership's walk-away price, I'm still paying an extra $1,600 over what it says on my lease agreement, New Mexico Reddit user Kind Statistician 983 wrote. A Reddit user asked, Why are dealerships allowed to make these surprise market adjustments when my residual buyout price was clearly stated in my lease contract? In short, making surprise undisclosed adjustments to a lease buyout statement is illegal. You don't have to pay the dealers to buy the vehicle. Some dealers are telling their consumers they must pay no matter what, that the state or whoever requires it, and it isn't true, Newhart said. I felt so stupid, New York Nissan consumer Jose Montenegro told ABC7. I just felt powerless, New York Nissan consumer Mark Nieto told ABC7. $4,116.26, said Nissan consumer Lisa Plunkett. Attorney General Ashley Moody issued subpoenas to six companies on November 2, 2022, giving them until November 16 to comply. According to Peter Baker, Orlando, Florida News, 120 complaints were filed with Moody's since 2021 in Florida alone. Subpoenaed cases remain ongoing and are continuously filed by auto consumers. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody's office refused to comment on cases, results, or dealership legal ramifications. The lease and purchase option price is set forth in the lease contract and cannot be negotiated down. Michael Sin, co-founder of leasing information site Lease Hacker, said, States have begun to catch this dealership practice, having passed legislation and filed lawsuits to compensate victims of undisclosed charges. For the full article, please visit lifenewstoday.com. 
If you or anyone you know has suffered from any of these undisclosed fees, please contact our reporting staff and tell us about your experience. This has been Alexander Fernandez with Life News Today. Thank you so much.